One assumption people have about us and our current living arrangement is that we're hippies. And they're not wrong. I don't think they're wrong about that. <laughs> Hi, Hi, we're, we're Matt, Matt and Peyton. Peyton. I am 24 years old and I'm an electrician. I am also 24 years old and I'm a teacher um, and I do it remotely, so I do it inside of our shipping container home. Our 45 foot shipping container is located in Washington State overlooking a river. What prompted us to live in a shipping container home in the middle of nowhere was strictly to save money. Instead of throwing our money into a black hole, we decided to buy some property and try to invest in ourselves. Living tiny was never really something that I had dreamed of or pictured myself doing, but I wouldn't change it for anything. One thing that's really unusual about our living arrangement is the fact that me and Peyton never lived together before we moved into 360 square feet together. To say we've gotten uh, close, you know, <laughs> is uh, pretty accurate. If you're in the bedroom, you're also in the kitchen, you're also in the bathroom, there's only one door inside of our home and that's to the bathroom. So that's the only place you have privacy. Before living in the shipping container, I actually lived in a short school bus and it didn't have running water or power. So for me, this has been an extremely good upgrade square footage wise and comfort wise. One revelation that I've had just living tiny in general is how much you really don't need to be happy. Kind of going off of that is how much easier it is to clean such a small space. It takes us definitely less than an hour to get all of our deep cleaning done. You know, more things equals more stress. Just get rid of all of it. In 2019, we purchased the land and also had the container delivered. And then by 2020, we were fully moved in. Something I think people should know before buying a shipping container and converting it into a house is all the rust and prep work that it takes to just begin the project. That was something I wish we would have spent a little more time researching and maybe just spent a little more time looking at containers. I think it's important to know the difference between a brand new shipping container, a one trip shipping container, and then a cargo worthy container. They're all different prices for a reason because of their condition, so I would definitely look into that. Our container is a one trip container, but because it's not brand new, that means it has dents in it. So you could tell in spots that like a forklift had hit the side and that's fine. But when you go to frame your walls, it makes it pretty difficult. So there's a lot of time that we didn't anticipate banging dents out. As far as specific skills that helped us succeed, it was definitely a plus that I'm an electrician because I was able to do all of the wiring myself, which can get pretty spendy if you're gonna hire somebody to do it. And one of my best friends is also a plumber, so I was able to learn a lot through the plumbing process as well. For me, I learned so much. Honestly, I came into this build not knowing the difference between a hammer and a wrench. Peyton's been a rock star, don't let her fool you. The costs associated with these living conditions uh, would be our fixed monthly cost for the land, which is about $500, and then an annual cost of about $390 for property tax. We also have things that you typically would have, you know, your electrical bill. For the garbage situation, about once a month, we drive to the dump and then pay to dispose of our things there. One of the biggest expenses so far was to build the road to get back in here. When it comes to the actual container itself, the most expensive thing in here would be our appliances. Our deep sink is another really cool feature in the container. We were able to fit a full-size fridge in our container as well. We definitely don't regret the choice. Because we live so far away from town, we have to really stock up on goods. When living tiny, we're always looking for items that serve multiple purposes. For us, this ended up being our couch. Not only does it pull out to a bed, it also uh, folds up to provide us with storage. If you're living off the grid or somewhere with power that's not necessarily reliable, we would recommend that you get a wood stove. We personally got a mini one and it mounts to our wall and it has been ideal for us in situations where the power has gone out. Although it is small, it is very awesome. It's, mighty. <laughs> it's very mighty and small. And anything we did to help that was spray foam the whole inside of the container. That process, although it's pretty labor intensive, was definitely worth the money and value that we got for insulation because we stayed toasty warm all winter long. 
The least glamorous part about our current setup is we've had times in the winter where trees have fallen down, wind's blown trees over, and it's up to us to get them cut up and get them off the road, otherwise we're gonna be stuck here. There's times where we're getting a ton of snow and to get in and out, we need the snow plowed. So there's a lot of stressful times. It's never been enough though to make us feel like it wasn't worth it. If there was anything that I would change about the shipping container, it would be the foundation. We got some repurposed ecology blocks but what that did was it caused us to change the layout for our bathroom and in turn it ripple affected and made us move the washer and dryer somewhere else and now we regret where the washer and dryer are at when you change one thing it changes 10 other things and it just kind of ripple effects throughout the entire project my favorite part of the process is honestly probably just the whole thing, like how rewarding it's been just getting it to where it's at now and then sitting back, laying on the couch and just seeing all your hard work all around you all the time. I anticipate we'll stay at this property for as long as we can. Right now, we're getting ready to build a shipping container workshop and the goal of that is to build more tiny houses. We hope to take these tiny houses and place them around the property um, and Airbnb them out so people like you can come enjoy the view with us.